Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host. Oh my goodness. Khadija. I didn't think I would be doing this, um, you know, two deaths in a row. I'm a little late, but when somebody passes away, you know, you just, you're, you you know, it. It happened so, it's so suddenly that uh, sometimes you can't catch. Um, but what I wanted to say was uh, rest in power. Rest in power to Ramsey Lewis. Oh my goodness. Yes, to Ramsey Lewis. Oh. Now, y'all want to talk about a great musician? In the 70s, he ruled. He, he ruled. He teamed up. But well, actually, Earp Maurice White was Ramsey Lewis' drum. Let's just take it there first. I mean, he's just a prolific, iconic pianist. Um, I met Ramsey on so many occasions. Um, him and Buddy Montgomery. Uh, Ramsey Lewis. Oh, he dies at the age of eighty-seven years old, years young. And depending on which music pundit you ask, jazz died when its nineteen twenty heyday ended. Others believe that jazz lost music lost its luster. When in the 60s, that rock music rolled out. But Ramsey Lewis, an inventive jazz pianist and one of the nation's most respected artists in the genre, continued to find novel ways to keep the genre alive and evolving, and crucially grew new generations of jazz listeners. My man, Ramsey. Oh, y'all remember this? <laughs> I went to the in crowd, baby. That was 1965. I was a little kid. I was a little bitty kid. I wasn't even yet a teenager or a preteen, but I remember this. I remember this bumping on the streets in the black community. I went to the in crowd. Oh. He won three Grammys. He scored seven gold records. And in 2007, it was named National Endowment of the Arts Master, the highest honor bestowed upon a jazz musician in the United States. Oh, wow. My man, Ramsey. A lifelong Chicagoan, Lewis grew up in the Cabrini Green Housing Project. Wow. Man, I... I spent so much time visiting relatives in this Caprini grave. It smelled like pee. Though, the, <laughs> though he played piano throughout his childhood, his exposure to jazz came only at home. When his father would play records from Duke Ellington, Art Tatum, and one of Lewis's all-time favorite artists, um, Art Tatum was. 
course, Art Tatum, uh, Aretha Franklin has so many great stories um, about uh, Art Tatum and his um, artistry, and his greatness. You know, and I just thank God that I was born in a time and place that I, re I remember these musicians. Um, some of them I opened the show for. Some of them uh, patted me on the head and gave me encouragement and told me to continue to uh, do what I was doing. And I also, uh, I thank them for the influences that they had on my life. His trio. You know, every time I start making a video, my dogs want to let y'all know that they're available. So, hold on a minute. Okay, these people, I'm back. These people are a very intricate part of my youth. Um, and um, I would be remiss if I wouldn't pay homage to them. Being a, a Midwestern kid, and us loving our Midwest musicians the way we did, you can't um, get past without paying homage to the greats, like Ramsey Lewis, Herbie Hancock, all these guys. I mean, y'all remember this one? Just the two of us, we can make it if we try, just the two of us. You and I. He did that, um, I think, with Mary Wilson. They did that. That was such a smooth. He melded the gospel sound and, and blues that he'd grown up playing with. And his father loved. And the popular sound of time was to create what became contemporary jazz. His jazz compositions had funk and soul, a style he preferred perfected on Sun goddess. That's what y'all heard me opening this up with. Okay, I'm gonna quit y'all. Anyway, he left a, a legacy in Chicago and beyond, y'all. Um I mean, he really did. In 2018, he told Chicago radio station WGN that he took off several days in a row. Uh, be quiet, Zeus. Stop it. Um, and you know he, uh, wow, he took uh several days in a row performing and practicing piano and quickly became bored. In 2019, he opened the Chicago-based Revidia Festival. Oh, I love the festival. Um, and told Chicago Tribune that he was 90-some uh, percent retired. He still performed occasionally, but he was fully retired from touring across the U.S. When he wasn't performing... Lewis was still introducing listeners to uh, new artists and repaying old favorites. Replaying old favorites, I'm sorry. He hosted several jazz programs on public radio um, and stations throughout his life in Chicago. I mean, in us in the Midwest, we used to hearing him on the radio and uh, public radio playing his music. He's just a great brother. Um, uh, you know, he was just a great man. He, uh, when they knocked that out of the school, public school system, we lost a lot of kids who probably could have contributed to the scene as we know it. You know, he hated, um, and those are some of the conversations, his political conversations that he would have um, about the arts and the endowment in the public schools in Chicago, which he said offered various bands and, you know, and musical electives. Because I had that growing up. You know, a lot of kids don't know what that's like. It's to go to music class. They give you a saxophone. I mean, you all the equipment was there. Baritone, soprano, uh, flutes, clarinets. It was all property of MPS. 
Now, of course, it got bad because the kids start stealing the instruments. Going on. I know it's successful. I wonder, did he ever go back and give North Division some money from stealing their horns? You know who you are. Anyway, um, a lot of us, though, I sh you know, we grew up with instruments in the classroom and instruments that we could take home and instruments that we did take home. <laughs> and the music programs at every school was very competitive. I hate that that's gone. It's died. And it's sad that it's died. Anyway, you know, music was pretty much, you know, the soundtrack to our lives. Any music that was jazz and funk, blues, and Randy Lewis was right out front. Um, somebody asked him what was his uh, greatest album ever, and he said, there is no such animal. What feels satisfying to me today might not feel so uh, good tomorrow or next week. The best album I ever heard was the one I just listened uh, to, unless I'm spending countless times researching other cultures or auditioning new music and artists. So you never know. Oh, boy. He survived by his wife and five of his children. Chicago Mary Lori Lightfoot said the city of Chicago was grateful to have Lewis as a native son based on a lifetime of playing in his beloved Chicago. He felt the same pride representing his city. He represented Chicago, y'all. I'm going to tell you. And most people that come from Chicago represent Chicago, which y'all know is what? An hour from here. As he was somebody said 45 minutes. As he put it succinctly in a news interview, Chicago is home. My man, Ramsey Lewis. The giant great. Gone. Okay, you guys. Thank you for listening. And I'm going to see you in the next video.